Well, the provincial NDP says some Ukrainian families are panicking. They received notice letters giving them two weeks to vacate a government-funded hotel and find an alternative place to live. But Immigration Minister Jerry Byrne says those families are not being evicted. They're being asked to leave to make room for other families in need. The fact is they cannot find any place affordable to live. And guess what? That's the issue we, uh, we've been raising for a while. That was the issue that we saw brewing back in 2022 when the uh, government announced its Ukrainian family help desk in, uh, in Poland. It's the Association for New Canadians that's really uh, front and center in our Ukrainian refugee resettlement initiatives. They have got great experience and great wisdom in this efforts. They know that it's very important for Ukrainians, like all refugees, to get out into community as reasonably quickly as possible. There is no eviction. There is, uh, this is unfortunate that uh, the New Democratic Party and Mr. Din has taken this in a certain context which is outside of the Association for New Canadians and what they've told them. I noticed that the uh, ANC has issued a, um, a recall to people to take uh, Ukrainian uh, newcomers in. You know what? That that works fine if indeed um, if indeed people have the capacity to bring people in. But that's not that's not the answer. The answer is you've got to address the housing issue here, and that's uh, what I want to see. Canada only allows a maximum of 60 days temporary accommodations for any refugee. Maximum, and after that, there is an eviction by Canada. Newfoundland and Labrador, we don't do that. In fact. Ukrainians have now received 110 days before the last uh, notice that we would like them and encourage them to get out into community. So there are no evictions underway. There are Ukrainians that have been gainfully employed and been living in a temporary accommodation in the hotel for well over 110 days. What we're asking them, make room for other Ukrainians, get out into the community. And in fact, we recognize that that's sometimes difficult but it's in their best interest, it's in the best interest of everybody. They've got to address the housing crisis. We are seeing rents skyrocket, people on fixed incomes can't afford the property they're in, so we've got to find a way to make this affordable for everyone. Basically, I think government has let down, as the, one of the people who, um, one of the volunteers I spoke to, government has failed the Ukrainians, the people that they brought in there, they are doing a disservice and they, and they uh, want to see better.